Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I have a little bit of a crinkly voice going on right now. Mm -hmm. Well, hello. I am Ordron Kit, and B. Reese happens to be in the Death Games right now. Unfortunately, he is not on. Cool. <clears throat> we only have six people that haven't joined yet. It's pretty exciting. How's the armor doing? Oh, we're missing boots. We're missing boots. We'll have, to, we'll have to get some boots. Do I have any? No, I don't. All right. We'll add some gold boots in there, but what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to teach you all how to make this glorious thing called the Death Games. If you don't know what the Death Games is, the Death Games is a set of games where you stick your sword inside this chest, clear it, and then randomly, uh, every once in a while, a sword will appear. And whoever's name is on that sword, like this one, is B. Reese. We would look at the j this thing, then put on this armor, grab the sword, and we would go find him and kill him if he's online. That's pretty much it. Uh, at some point, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that you have to give diamonds and things like that, depending on whether or not you... Uh, Fend off the person, or if the person kills you. But we're not we're not at that point yet. We're just starting, so I just thought it would be an extra fun little thing to you know get everybody acquainted with each other and you know trying to kill each other because that's how that's how we do. Now in here, ooh, wow, this looks confusing. It's actually not as confusing as you think. I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process and what we're actually going to do to get this to work properly. But I thought I would show you this thing first before we started. Alright, let's see here. We got some hoppers, we got some droppers, and we got some more hoppers, we got some comparators, and we got ourselves some of these here repeaters. And then we got some flip-flops, and thingamajiggers, and redstone blocks, and a time thingy. Uh, this is the button right there, and this is actually for testing purposes. We don't really need them on there. It was just to test out things and make sure that I got this working, because I used... Uh, Etho's original plan and then discovered that there were things that weren't quite working as well as I was hoping so I changed a couple of things like the um, day night sensor seemed like it wasn't quite working as well so I changed it to this which is actually what Etho did too he changed it to this system and then I moved some things around a little bit so that it it works I think a little bit more reliable, and it's good for um, a lower number. We have a total of 12 people on the server at this point, so it should be able to work for all 12 of them. I might need to upgrade it again if we ever get more, and also not everybody's joined, so it should be a little bit easier. All right, enough talking about this random stuff right here. Let's go learn how to build one of these things, why don't we? Boop. Boop. Uh, let's, you know, might as well, yeah, let's, let's go over here under this tree and let's, let's, uh, go to a different world in order to learn how to make one of these things. All right. All right, now that we're in our little creative world, let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. Now, I got this one already functioning in made and it's without all the walls, so it's easier to see what's going on. Now I'm going to go through my step-by-step -step process and tell you how to actually build this thingy-mabob right here. Alright, first thing we're going to need to set up is we're going to need to set up this, which is our random uh, item generator thingy. So we'll put random items in it. As you can tell, it is actually working. See, we got a trip hook right now, and then that's going to go away, and then we're going to get a random item. Let's see what it is. It's an egg! Yay! And then if we wait just a couple of more seconds, the egg is going to disappear, and what are we going to get? We are going to get a torch! Yay! So it randomly goes through the different items, and it, that works perfectly. So we're going to need to set that up. So let's say that we want to go ahead and build one of these things here. Now this is going to be a flat... Ugh, my God. Land on. This is going to be a flat thing, so normally you wouldn't have uh, this already dug out like this, but I'm showing you it this way so I don't have to dig out things and stop the video or anything like that. So, you've got your chest. You want to put 
a hopper connected to the chest. Then you want to put a dropper going into the hopper. And then, uh, 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 underneath here, ooh, you're gonna want to put a dropper going into the no, a dropper going into the dropper going into the hopper going into the chest. And now you're gonna want to put your Dropper going into the dropper going into the dropper going into the hopper going into the chest and then finally you want to put your hopper going into a dropper going into a hopper going into no oh god you're gonna put a hopper going into a dropper going into a dropper going into a dropper going into a hopper going into a chest which is now being picked up by that same hopper that we started with <sighs> all right so that very easy and simple so far so now you're gonna dig yourself out a little area and right underneath. You're going to leave these two and break out the one in the middle there. So you're going to have a torch and a torch. And then you're going to have yourself a redstone right there. Now what this is going to do is going to power all of these blocks, making it so that they work. As you can tell, it keeps on turning on and off at random points. That means that it's actually cycling through the items. Uh, next step, we're going to actually want to set up this little part right here, which is actually the meat and bones of it. This is just the, like, pretty, er, that's the working part of it. This is what makes it work. So we have one of these uh, repeaters, and I can't believe I had to go look at the name of that. I don't know if anybody told you, or uh, cut that, but yeah, I had to go look at the name of that real fast. We got a repeater, and then we got one redstone, then one, two, three, four, five. Now it goes five away, and then you have it go one, two in. So this last redstone is actually with this repeater on the same level. Now if you do this wrong, it will slightly turn out not right at all. So you might want to get that part right. Put a hole right there, and then you put a repeater going this direction with four ticks. Now you have another, nah, and then da, then da. Now this is where your piston comes in. Regular pistons, non-sticky pistons at this point. You actually want to build it back there so it goes four that way. One, two, three, four. You put one piston there, and one piston there, and then you put a block in the middle. Now this gets push back and forth like a flip-flop, which I believe is what this is called. So now to power this piston, you need to have, whenever this gets powered over this way, it'll go up there, and then you put redstone, redstone. Now this will get powered, and it'll go back and forth like it's supposed to. Over here, you have yourself another redstone. And then, if you look up here, it actually goes up at this point, so we're going to put redstone. Not there. A redstone there, and you see how it's lined up at the back of this. That's perfect. Now we put another repeater, and then here we actually put in our first sticky piston. This has a, this setup has a total of three sticky pistons, by the way. So find yourself three slime balls. Now you stick sticky piston and yourself another block. And with this setup that I have, I have another repeater right here going into this, which is actually going to have a block on top of it eventually. And what this does is this actually resets everything every single time this, re this system goes. It will reset everything and make it so it works every single time. Or it doesn't change every single time, but it changes every four times, and that resets it, letting it so it, it works correctly. And I think in Ethos, he didn't have that there. So that's just something that I found made it work a little bit better. See, now it goes in there and resets that, which resets this whole system, which makes it so that this actually works. Now, we're going to need to set up this little thingy right here. I'm going to work on that. That'll be the last thing we do, so let's set up this. We have this line there, which is actually going to go where the power goes. There, there, and we'll just set that up like that. And we'll put our power station right there. All right, welcome back. Okay, I did a little bit of testing here, and uh, I had a little extra thing here, which I have no clue why it was here. Uh, I showed you a little picture of it. It seems to do absolutely nothing to me, uh, for me, so I went ahead and got rid of it. So I won't even bother telling you about it, because this system works just fine without that thing. See, as you can see, it has a random item in it now. 
So what was happening before, the reason why I added this right here is that you would have to clear the item before that this would ever go off. And maybe that's what that was supposed to be doing, but it wasn't working for me. So now I have it set up so every time that this goes through, it will send a pulse there and reset this instead of you having to clear your name or item in the dispenser for it to work. So. I went through all of this step right here. This is your uh, little easy thing to make. Now what we need to do is we need power for it. Now the power we have over here is a um, timer using this oak leaf thing. Oh, not oak leaf. <laughs> Hopper thing. So we have two hoppers, two comparators, and then two sticky pistons and some little bit of redstone and a redstone block, of course. So let's get all that prepared. Okay, so what happens is you need hoppers. Step one, hopper facing another hopper. Now in order to get both hoppers facing each other, you actually have to put one down, then have that facing towards each other, then hold down your shift button, and now they're both facing towards each other. Now you need your uh, comparator, and yeah, comparator, and that shows that it's reading. Like it will send power whenever there's something in there now. Now you need to put a block here for it to send power to, and you're gonna need redstone. So you need redstone to power your uh, pistons, sticky pistons. Put your two sticky pistons, and now you're gonna put your redstone block in the middle. Now in order to get this to work, uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some leaves, and if we throw, oh, if you can aim, you can see it is now working. I have it working slower. It's going back and forth. It's very simple. This is actually a, a nice timer thing that I would suggest you using and playing around with how many uh, items you want in it at a time to get it to work. I find that if it's all the way full with this particular system, it seems to work every, I want to say, eight minutes is whenever an item will change in the system. Now we have nothing in here, so let's go ahead and start putting items. And let's see if we can't get it to work randomly. Ooh. Maybe I need to start putting things in here. It might actually be working a little bit too fast right now for it to work properly. Okay, so we got an egg. It went out. We got a slime ball. We got a slime ball. It goes out. And we got a redstone torch. Well, there we go. We got ourselves a nice, simple, random repeater thing. Uh, a random item set up. Again, you need to set up your dispensers. Uh, you have hopper, dropper, 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 hopper, chest, back to dropper. Hopper! Ah, oh, god! Ugh! Too many names. The exact same. You got two redstone torches on top of blocks, and you have a redstone dust in the middle, and then you have repeater, dust, 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 dust. repeater set on full ticks, dust, dust, Two pistons pushing a block back and forth. Dust, dust, repeater, and ooh, repeater and sticky piston, and then dust, 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 dust to your timer. Which your timer is two hoppers and two comparators going into blocks on different sides, and which are getting power to these two uh, things. Sticky pistons. Two sticky pistons with a powerful redstone block in the middle. Now there you go. I hope this was informative and you can set up your own little device thing like this. It can work for death games, it can work for... I don't know why you would want to build this for something else, but who knows? You might have a better idea of what you want to do with it than me. This is I Just Made It For Death Games. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or any ideas of something that you would like me to make and teach you how to do, I will learn how to make it if I don't know how already, and I will try to teach you and show you how to make it as quick as possible. Oh, before we go, one more thing that we're going to need to add 
is we need to add the reset button. Now this is your reset button that makes it so that if your name gets stuck in here, you can hit the button and it will go ahead and automatically take it out so your name's no longer in there. So you need to put a block on top of this piston over here, this closest one to that. You take your redstone dust, go over here, and you put it on top. Now uh, you can make this is the only thing that is very important. You have to have something right there to make that work. Otherwise, the whole system will not work. And that actually makes it so this works a little bit better, too. Because now it's sending... Oh, it was sending power to that before. But still, now you actually have your uh, button that you can press. And you can make it go up and round in different areas. And now you can change it so that you can clear your name if you need to. I hope all that made sense. I know the ending part right there was a little bit weird. I forgot about the button. I'm sorry about the button. I hope the button wasn't too important. All right. Now, really, see y'all next time.